Hi, my name is Lori Cathers, and welcome to this video as we explore the ways that we've developed deeper ministries in our community as we grow in faith together. The prison ministry is a group of people who go um, to the, in Goochland, to the Virginia Correctional Center for Women and uh, the work center there, and they provide um, Catholic services um, from Bible study to uh, bringing the Eucharist in to providing RCIA classes uh, for the women. And they do this uh, once a week. There's a Catholic presence there. Um, but since COVID, we have not been able to um, enter the prison. So we are reoriented, or there are people being reoriented to return, and they're going to be able to uh, on Christmas Day. The fellowship that um, occurs when when we go in with the women is um, something that is, it's probably the main thing that um, I'm passionate about. Uh, it's a brand new ministry between Seton House, Commonwealth Catholic Charities, and St. Mary's Parish, and it's an opportunity to help single mothers with newborns to get a good start. It's an opportunity to be a service to someone, and that's putting our faith into practice. And yeah, Bible study has its time and place, but isn't that what our faith and practicing our faith is all about? At this ministry, uh, what, what we do is we make baby blankets, hats, and different things, and then they're donated to the community of different needs of the community. And I've always give to others, and I, I don't, I feel like, you know, if everybody just gave one thing, that this world would be a better place. Since the conception of Nifty Needlers, we've given away over 7,000 um, pieces of uh, shawls, uh, lap robes, um, hats, scarves, baby blankets. Um, and over COVID, we did 500 items. It's a good group to be with and we enjoy each other's company while we're working and um, it, it gives you a good feeling to know that you're helping someone. Hopeful Smiles is a ministry where we assist individuals who are low income, below the poverty level, um, with their oral health care needs. As we know, dental care is expensive even with insurance. And so we found that there was a great need in the community to help people pay for dental care. And so our goal with Hopeful Smiles was to help keep people get to the best oral health care that they could. This ministry is so important. I have learned over the years that oral health care is critical if we're gonna maintain overall health. And it's yet one of the biggest health disparities that we have around our community. So it's, it's difficult with the cost of it. So for me, it's about, you know, listening to someone who's had the same dentures for 10 years, but unable to financially replace them. And so they're ashamed because their dentures may fall out while they're eating or they can't speak right and that impacts their nutrition, which is gonna impact their health. So I'm most passionate about bringing people back to not only physical health, but emotional health and psychological health. Because when you have a smile that you're proud of, like, and you just kind of glow, it makes the biggest difference in your overall well-being and how you interact with people. So that's why I'm passionate about it, is really decreasing barriers, increasing access, and bringing people that opportunity to be the best versions of themselves that they want to be, to be able to eat good nutritious food, to feel good about smiling, to be good about interacting with their friends and their family. 